Hey guys, um, it's Annie's Reborns. Um, I'm here with baby Libby, and um, I thought while I was changing her that I'd just go on and round out the evening's videos to an even four. So yeah, the things I do for you guys. <laughs> no, but seriously, just while I was changing her, I thought I might as well go on and film it. Um, we're going to be changing her into her pajamas for the night. And she is going to be wearing this child of mine sleeper. It's covered in white, hot pink, and baby blue hearts. It says lovable on the tag, and it has a little seahorse on it. And then on the back, it's got the adorable little light, light blue ruffles. Um, we're going to be changing her into that, and we're going to change her diaper as well, because she is stinky, aren't you, baby girl? You stinky girl. <laughs> um, she conked out after bath time, so <sighs> this should be relatively easy because I got lucky and she doesn't, once she's out, she doesn't fuss much as long as I'm gentle with her, you know, um, which I mean, of course, you know, why would I be anything but gentle with her? Ooh, baby. Goodness gracious, that is something that you did there. Um, she has had kind of a busy week. Um, we started tummy time. She does not like it. <laughs> she gets angry with me and she starts yelling and screaming and crying and I'm just like, um, because <laughs> I'm just, I don't know. Headaches are not fun, but that's where being a nanny gave me good life experience, I guess. I worked as a nanny for five years. I still do, actually, when I'm not with her, so it works out really well when you're dealing with cranky babies and you have experience with it so that you know not to take it personally because a lot of the time they just want to be mad and scream at something. Um, my mom, it was really funny, when I first started nannying, I would freak out, <laughs> and, you know, like, the kid's crying, what do I do, make it stop, and, um, like, I would call her, and she would be like, if they're dry, hungry, if they're dry, not hungry, and not sleepy, then they're just mad, and that's fine, you know, it's, um, and so I always thought that was really funny of, you know, you dry, yep, you hungry, nope, then you can just cry. That's cool. Um, I mean, obviously, you know, the human touch is a big thing. So, you know, you cradle them, you cuddle them, but there's nothing wrong if they're pitching a fit. And it is a myth that fits don't start until, like, once they're older. Fits can start anywhere from, like, two months on. Um, especially if the baby's colicky, then it's like all bets are off and screw you and the horse you rode in on. <laughs> um, I'm going to be putting on these little pink socks. Um, I don't know. I think I mentioned it in a previous changing video. Little X Loves made the comment of putting socks on before a sleeper, um, really helps with, um, keeping the foot of the sleeper from sliding which made a lot of sense to me, so that's what I do. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else that's been going on recently with her. Um, fish is being a dipweed. <laughs> he has discovered the joys of scratching on the walls, which bothers me. So I had to go out and buy, like, this cat repellent, which... <laughs> You know, I feel like people will bottle up water and then sell it, but I mean, it, it didn't work. So now, I just get to yell at him a lot, which I do normally, but he's normally a good cat, so. I think he's frustrated because he doesn't like his new meds. He has, uh, he's had a cold recently. It's been really persistent, and we tried to treat it with diet and stuff first, but now we're moving to antibiotics, and he hates them. So he gets angry with me. Okay, baby, come here. Hey, darling. Stay asleep, baby. 
There you go, good girl. Um, I still have Caden up for sale, my Nod Sculpt. Um, I'm going to, I know I said last changing video that I was going to be doing a details video on him, but I got really busy. Um, oh, well, hello. Hi there. Yeah, I got really busy, so um, tomorrow when it's light out and I have good natural light so that I can really show you his details, I plan on making that video um, because I really need to sell him because I'm not bonding with him and he's just literally sitting in a box and I don't think that's fair to him and I don't think, you know, I could use the money. I mean, it's not like I have just piles of money laying around to have a $200 doll just sitting in a box, you know, um, and yeah, so that's that. I also have picked out the artist that I want to get my next reborn from, but it's going to require lots of saving because she's really, really good. So she has, um, priced herself really well, which, you know, is totally fine. You know, if you are a good or if you're good at what you do you deserve to be compensated for that I'm not trying to get down on her for prices at all I'm just saying that with my current price point I definitely need to a sell Caden and b save up for a few months in order to afford one. Oh goodness um it's pearl of a girl nursery which any of you on instagram probably follow her Tess she's really really sweet she's also on youtube um, but yeah, really, really sweet and really, really talented. It's crazy because, like, I'm 20 and she's 20 and I'm sitting there going, how do you art? <laughs> how do you, how do you do that with your hands? Because I'm sitting here, like, I can't draw a convincing stick figure. But someone else my age, she can sell dolls for hundred. I'm just, it blows my mind how talented people are. So... Yeah, that's where I'm ideally, hopefully, going to be getting my next Reborn from. And it'll probably be another little girl because, like I said, expect hey, are you, are you grooming her? Are you being sweet? She loves Libby. Like, whenever I have her out and I'm doing stuff with her, um, Ducky comes and she, like, makes sure that she's okay. Like, I don't think she can tell the difference between her and a real baby because she's never met a real baby and so it really confuses her but that makes me feel better because you know both my cats are ducky is nine months and then fish is just over a year old and so I'm probably gonna have them when I have my kids my real kids so them being able to be sweet and gentle with a baby is a big deal for me. Okay, now we're gonna fix her hair. Um, recently, I bought some Johnson & Johnson's um, baby detangler and a little bottle, and I diluted it into some water. And let me tell you, this stuff is fan freaking tastic It is really, really good. Um, it smells amazing, and it doesn't like leave a residue on the hair, which I love because, you know, obviously it's not real hair, so I can't, you know, I have to be a lot more gentle and I have to be, I have to do a lot more to keep it. Okay. But yeah, she's, she's doing good. She's been really sleepy recently, which is normal because she's a newborn, but um, I, th I think it's interesting how she's been sleeping more as she's getting older, but I mean, it makes sense because she's going through like six growth spurts at once right now, which, you know, makes you tired. Good little miss. Yeah, it makes you tired. Um, yeah, um, so yeah, I'm going to be making Caden's video, and tonight, this is the last video I'm doing tonight, but that makes it out to an even four. I did my quick haul and I did my um what's in my diaper bag tag and then I did her outfit of the week and now we're doing her changing video so it's been a busy night for Miss Libby she's been oh goodness this hat it swallows her look at this guys it's like 
it swallows her up. Oh my goodness. Okay. Well, that is her changing video. Yeah, she looks so cute. She's she is tired. Fish, be nice. Be nice. You be nice to her? You give her kisses? Oh, he's looking at me like I grew a second head. I know. I know. I'm cool. <laughs> he's tired too. All right, well, we're all tired here. I hope you enjoyed all the videos today, and I hope you guys have a great week, and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.